So here we have a little video again. I'm just going to fast forward it. And you can see what happens here. Basically, it's a pace line, and you just keep riding to wattage until there's no one left, until there's only one face across the line. So everyone takes a turn at the front. This is a good game to play. Good game to play. Uh, you keep the pace just steady, consistent, no sort of attacks. Uh, just just hold the flame under that hand, hold the light under the hand, and everyone does about a minute at the front, and then swaps off. And you can see people already in the back starting to uh, starting to struggle a bit. And this is this is the best training you can do really as a cyclist. I think is if you want to get better at climbing, you got to train at climbing, and you got to go with guys who are faster than you. So minute on the front, then swap off, and then try and hold on again. It's pace line to climb, best training ever. I mean, we're pumping so much blood around our bodies right now. And you can see some riders there just, just hanging on the back, just hanging on the back, about to get popped off the cob. Uh, popped off the cob. So it's good training. It's, it's good fun. There we go. Telling you, that was Ted first off the back. And BC and straight there's more. more. Well, generally, when one rider goes, a few other riders go. But it's, just, it's the best training ever. It's really good. I've done so many of these rides, uh, and some of the professional riders as well. And so it's just good fun, good fun. Give him Chris a bit of a push there. So you see the riders at the back still trying, hanging on. It's really good. Again, like I said, the best training you can do is ride with people who are faster than you and just hang on for as long as you can. And then it was the whole bunch getting dropped off. And in the end, it was just three of us left. Paul on the front, myself, and Manalo. Now, Paul is... He's a, a cut above, a few cuts above all of us, so he could just he could have just attacked at the start and been by himself the whole at the climb. But for for our, our egos he stayed with us. So we didn't demoralise us straight away. And uh but you can see the cadence there, spin around up the hill. Fast forward. <laughs> that was funny at the side, Good stuff. And then Paul just does the attack, thousand watts. He's probably doing about a thousand watts you reckon. Cranking up the hill. I oh, actually know he, when he attacks, he's doing a thousand watts. So I'm doing if I'm doing about four hundred right now. If I'm doing four hundred watts, and then Paul surges past. How many watts is Paul doing? He's doing a fucking lot. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Twenty B twin turbo rotary engine off the front. Now I'm going to talk about what I think about when I'm climbing. So listen up and post your questions down below. Post your questions down below. Thanks for watching. How'd it go? Fun. How was the pace for you this morning? It's really good. Like, it's good. Really, uh, didn't know we were gonna go so hard in the beginning. None of us did really. Just sort of like <laughs> flowed with it. So I was just turning the meditation on. And boys like, oh, this is Wednesday. You need to go hard Thursday. Oh, went to bed too late last night. Oh, you? No, no, no. I was just like switched it all off and just meditated. So if you see my face in the video. I'm just like, all I'm thinking of is just holding that wheel in front. Nothing else. Just breathing and hold the wheel. Yeah, Meditation. Man. It looked like you were in the zone. It's good. It's good. All, yeah. <laughs> Meditating or sitting on your ass, that's fucking easy. Jump on the bike, try and hold five watts per kilo in the, in the heat and humidity. That's what meditation for me is about. It's good. Give us a quick recap of the ride. How did it start? And a recap of the ride? Uh, how do you mean? Like, like watts in the beginning, oh, dropping the wattage, people? I think we probably averaged about 300. It sort of went up a bit. Because none of us really knew what was going to happen before. But it just sort of we just flight into it, you know? It's uh, just become a bit of a... Uh, just like a bit of a play fight. And then eventually we started throwing hits at each other, you know? So it's good. And then Paul at the end just... Oh, he could have dropped us in the, from the beginning, really. It's good. Good sweat, good training.